How you doing guys, this is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com, SecretOfTheInternet.com. Got another battle box for you. We'll see what is inside this one. Right now I'm opening it with my rat Randall Adventure Training folder. It's the Ontario rat, I think it's a kind of collaborative effort. Well, it's a really good folding knife. Let's see what we got in this little box. Some smaller than the ones I've been getting. And I've already mentioned all the stuff that you can do with this. Fluff. Lots of stuff. This one looks like it's got some sleek stuff in here, man. I'm excited. Look at all these gift style boxes. I'm pumped. Anytime you get a small heavy box, you know it's going to be good stuff. Big boxes are fun too, but there's something about a small, dense box you know is going to have some good stuff in there. This one may be an interesting theme. It looks like my guess from right off the bat would be the theme is some kind of EDC. Because we've got a Zippo, some kind of flashlight, a belt thing. My guess is some kind of everyday carry, everyday preparedness. Bastion. Slick box. Let's see what we got in here. I have no idea. I don't recognize that brand name. So it probably means something really cool because I don't buy cool stuff. <laughs> it's just like a pocket multi tool of some kind. It looks like a belt clip. Sure, what this where this is supposed I guess this book can go anywhere. Just slip it on. You've got a little flat Phillips head on that side. Flat head or a scraper there. Bottle opener. Can slash can opener. Nail file. This is pretty heavy duty. It's made out of like feels like aluminum, I'm guessing. Very interesting. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where this would go. It looks like it's made for a very specific shape to slide onto something. Very kind of interesting tool. I guess it's just, they call it on the thing a Bastion Gear EDC Utility Aluminum Wallet. Oh, so this is just supposed to be for your cards. That's cool. So you just stick your card. Right now I'm using the... Um, I've got the Anson Calder minimalist wallet, but we'll see how this thing works real quick. Put a Walmart gift card on top so you can't read any of my cards. So you got your card. And you just stuff them in there. And then you can push them out with that little gap there. So you can force a card out. And then you could you could put cash on top of that or whatever too, and it's not much bigger than this minimalist wallet here. A little bit taller, a little bit wider, but certainly no bigger than um, most people's wallets. I don't know how comfortable that would be to sit on. You probably want to have it in a front pocket wallet, but wallets this size, front pockets usually better anyway. Very cool. Gone are the days of the George Costanza super thick wallet stuffed with receipts and lame rewards cards and all that stuff. For those of you who don't know, this is totally just an aside. It's nothing to do with the battle box. But to, one of the ways to get rid of all the rewards cards in your wallet but still have access to the programs, because they can be useful if it's something that you do shop at fairly frequently. There's an app for a, a smart <clears throat> a smartphone app called Keyring. And you can scan something like a library card or a Lowe's card into the phone app so that any or a movie theater card, anytime you go up to the register, you just click on the app, it opens that screen, they can scan it right off the screen or enter your number right off the screen and you don't have to carry around the cards. Very, very useful. Free app. I recommend it. <clears throat> EDC belt sleeve. Holds knives, weapons, magazines in a comfortable low-vis position. Oh, okay. So you can see how it... A magazine, right? And it holds it 
parallel to the way your belt runs, which is pretty useful because a lot of, so this is just an elastic sleeve that goes over the belt and then you can stick something else in there, a flashlight, whatever else. Because a lot of things that you wear on your hip, they, they're carried perpendicularly and that not only is that more obvious, but it can tend to get in the way if you're sitting or in the wrong place. So this is a cool, creative and uh, simple way of holding stuff on your belt and probably hard to notice too, especially if it's uh, fairly small. Kind of like that. There's some cool stuff in here. Here we go, another Bastion. That's that same company that did the EDC wallet. They have some creative stuff, it seems like. We'll see what they got in here. How does this box open? There we go. I think it's one of those magnetic ones. Ooh, a knife. Always like the knives that have been in the battle boxes. I definitely approve, man. They have some good selection when it comes to the knives. It's an interesting look. Let's see if I can get the focus. This is a, I forgot my sheet. All right, just a second. There we go. So this is just all metal construction, which might be a little slippery. Ooh, that opens really easily. This flies open. You could probably do like a, oh, it's pretty tight in the base, but as soon as you get it open a little bit, it flies open. Liner lock. Definitely easy to open. Interesting blade shape. It's almost like a, uh, Saber almost kind of got a definitely got like a significant belly on the blade with like a spear point Nice and thick Feels like a quality knife man definitely looks like a Futuristic and sleek Nothing too complicated all metal almost all the same color Very high Reflective polish on that blade Looks like just a normal Angle grind, I can't tell. Pretty cool, I'm liking it. Definitely a decent EDC knife. Cool, I approve once again. If anything else, BattleBox has got a good selection of knives that they send out. Next up, we have Smith. Let's see what Smith is, has for us. Optics. I'm guessing these are some sort of goggles. Protective eyewear, they're fairly lightweight. That's what it looks like. Maybe some shooting glasses. If they were sunglasses, they would fit into my EDC guess for this, this battle box. Those are pretty sleek looking. And they are indeed some sunglasses. Nice matte finish. A little bit of dust on the inside. It's pretty slick. I have to wear these around and uh, see how they work. I like them. They don't look too wide either, which is good because I have a fairly narrow face. Not, a, not ridiculously, but if I, a lot of just average sized adult sunglasses will stick off a little bit too much. Not like noticeably, but just will be a little wide. So these look nice and more narrow. Those are pretty slick. They come with their little high class carrying bag. So this is definitely some kind of EDC thing. And this is a good base for your EDC collection. If you, if you just wanted to get into EDC and you didn't have anything yet, this is a pretty damn good start. Oh, these, I always recommend these if this is what I think it is. Digital smart charger. One of the best things for travel is some kind of backup power supply for your smartphone. And I think that's what this is. 
Oh no, this is something else. This is a portable charger for rechargeable batteries. Also useful if you use anything with rechargeable batteries. Very cool. It's got a way to charge those batteries. Useful. Just need the batteries. It shows you what type of user. Like frequently flashlights, you a lot of those newer high-end flashlights use those type of rechargeable batteries. This is a good travel charger for those. Battle box brand. They've had a lot of cool branded stuff in the boxes, like a, one of the tarps, I think was battle box. Ooh, a tactical pen. I've actually made a video before on pens and how they're kind of overlooked as a uh, EDC or preparedness item. And this feels like it's another aluminum anodized because you can use it for self-defense. If you retract the, this is to open up the, oh, it's inside there. So that's not the pen. That is just some kind of almost like a glass breaker tip on there. You can use it for glass breaking. You can use it for self-defense. Bam, bam, John Wick style. And it's just a badass pen. Looks great. Can't tell if that's supposed to open there as well. It looks, almost looks like it has another O-ring. But the pen part is inside. That's probably where you replace the cartridge, as I suspected. I guess that doesn't open. Really cool looking pen. Definitely seems like it'd be pretty tough. I mean, it's gonna be hard to hurt this thing. And you can use it for a punch, self-defense, different sorts of things. And it comes in a cool box, like in that pen. Definitely cool. Next up, we have Zippo. Always gotta have a way to, to make fire. It's primary preparedness item. That's cool, it's almost a mini, I'm not, I'm not a big lip uh, Zippo guy, but I'm pretty sure that this is smaller than a normal Zippo, but maybe not. Maybe it's just been a while since I picked one up. Brand new. So we can take this thing off. I actually have some lighter fluid in the other room, but I'm not gonna do that right now. You have to check out Cutlery Lover if you want to see some cool Zippo tricks. As usual, you have the wicking, you just fill it up with lighter fluid. This is an actual Zippo brand, which is great. Cool, I like that. It's got the Battle Box logo on there, which is cool looking. Good deal. Next up, we have all our paperwork, coupons, more Zippo branded stuff. Swiss Tech, this is a keychain multi tool, all utility, six in one. Screwdriver, flat, or a Phillips, flat, bottle opener, little knife blade, Phillips, and straight knife blade. So two edges, right here you've got flat end. You know what, I'm gonna use my battle box pen as a pointer here. Right here we have a straight knife edge, serrated knife edge, bottle opener, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. That's a little micro screwdriver in this says up there. A little micro flathead, I guess. And then the flat screwdriver is just on the edge here. Pretty cool. 
says so you all the different things you can do. Bottle opener. Not bad. Really is just the size of a key. So you don't have to carry a big honking piece of junk on there. Pretty cool. Next up, I am definitely a flashlight guy. I love flashlights. But I've been maintaining, or not maintaining, restraining myself from buying a ton of them because... I mean, honestly, I don't need more than a few flashlights, and you could start spending a lot of money if you wanted to, but I am super stoked to get a flashlight, and hopefully, this one has batteries that can be charged with the charger. That would make a lot of sense, right? But not necessarily the case. Things don't always work out that well. But that would be nice. This is an Olight. Mac or M1X Striker, five-year warranty. It's got a little lanyard, some extra O-rings in there, instructions. This says is at a thousand lumens, which is pretty good. 190 meters of throw. 60 days. That may be like at the lowest setting, maybe it goes 60 days. That's pretty, that'd be pretty wild, or on strobe or something. It's a nice flashlight. Decently sized, it's not a micro flashlight, but you can hold it like this still if you needed to for some CQB stuff. It's got a, uh, what do they call that? A end crown switch and a button here, it looks like. The bezel's made so you can smash into someone's face. Got a belt or pocket clip on there. Let's see what kind of batteries we have in there. 18650. 18650. Looks like we're good to go. And this just takes one of them. Should work now because that slip is out of there. This is definitely something I'll have to do a review video on after I've had it for a while. Ooh, that's nice. So let's see. That's low right there. That's probably where medium, high, super high, low. Okay, so that's the, you set it on this one. Turn it on, and then you cycle through the modes. And then it comes on and off in the same mode. There is strobe. Okay, good. I'll leave it on low for now. That's awesome. I like me some flashlights. Really cool. And we got the battery charger for it. I'm stoked. Good box, I like it. Let's see what they're officially calling it. This is just called Mission Equipped. Your everyday carry loadout, so I said it's a first line preparedness and defense when the shit hits the fan. Battle boxes provide you some essential gear for your EDC load to assist you in your daily missions. Awesome. Definitely like this one. This is another winner from these guys. So there you have it, guys. This is a great EDC collection to start out with. If you don't have anything EDC related, this would be a great way to get started. And if you do, there's still some amazing stuff in here, as you can see. Definitely a solid way to kick off or bolster your EDC collection. I'm gonna have to try out a lot of this stuff, make some videos on it, let you guys know how it works out. But I'm digging it. They did a good job of packing this too, now I can't get it all back in there. Thanks for watching guys, check out battlebox.com. And as usual, that's spelled without the E. Just like that. Battle box. You can pick up your own batch of this stuff. I definitely recommend it. They have been getting better and better. They were always decent, and the last several in a row have all been amazing. So I definitely recommend you go check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.